Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzi and in this video I'm going to talk about Spy Kids on the GBA. Spy Kids Challenger is pretty boring. In the first level you have to just jump up a tower. It looks interesting at first, but believe me, it gets boring fast. Then there are the Dragonfly levels that behave like the usual game of this sort. These parts were decent. The Dragonfly levels take up more than a third of the entire game. And at last, there are the Magna Racers levels which are again bad. The levels are confusing until you understand what you have to do and when I found out how to dodge and attack in the game, I was just happy to get the level over with. But this stuff is subjective, maybe you like it. For me, the game was just dull. Spy Kids 3D Game Over might sound misleading because it has 3D in the title but the game isn't 3D. Actually, it's based on the movie Spy Kids 3D. The movie was in 3D, the game isn't. It still sounds misleading even today, if you don't know the source material. And the game is crap. First, as a warm up, you do some poor platforming. The animations are misleading until you get used to them, then you get to some races with choppy frame rates. These sections are just boring. And then, after you've gotten used to the bad, comes these sections with robo suits. Here you play the sections as a platformer. Problem is, the frame rate gets choppy, and the controls are as stiff as they could be. Also, if you're a fan of the movie, just know that the game has barely anything to do with the movie. It's butchered, its plot is butchered. There are bosses and enemies you've never seen, and the story just jumps without having a clear cursivity. Overall, the game is just bad. It's not worth playing, not, not even if you're a fan. 